So I'm all fired up right now because apparently there's this big Joker theory which is basically saying that Jared Leto's Joker is actually Jason Todd and not really the Joker himself. And what do I think of this? Bogus! So here's my case. First off, let's talk about Jason Todd. Jason Todd was the second person in the Batman comics to become Robin. There was a story arc in the comics called Death in the Family. Basically, Joker kidnapped Jason Todd, tied him up in a warehouse, and beat him to death with a crowbar. Pretty bad. Jason Todd then eventually comes back as a character known as Red Hood. Jason Todd started training under Batman as a youth, which brings me to my first point. Ben Affleck, who is playing Batman, Jared Leto, who is playing the Joker, they're the same age. So why would this Jason Todd Joker be the exact same age as Batman. Even Hollywood aging aside, that's a stretch. We also know that based on leaked shots of the suicide set footage, that there is a flashback between Harleen Quinzel and the Joker. For those of you that don't know, Harleen Quinzel is the actual name of Harley Quinn. So why would Jared Leto play the real Joker in the past, delving into Harley Quinn's origin, and also play the fake Joker in the present day in Suicide Squad? That doesn't make any sense. Now let's jump into some of the evidence that the opposing parties are presenting. One of the big ones is the J-Scar seen right here on the Joker. When the Joker beat Jason Todd to death, he also left that same scar on his body. I would like to present the idea that that is branding. The Joker already had that tattoo or scar, so he's going to brand Jason with it. It has also been mentioned that the bullet holes on Robin's armor supposedly match scars on Jared Leto's body. How the heck can you see those scars from the few images of the Joker as is. Not only that, but the Joker could have easily already had those scars before he killed Jason, and in the process of torturing Jason, shot him in the exact same spots. Kind of common in torture. This is getting kind of morbid. There's also the bird tattoo. That could just be a trophy. I killed Robin. It was me. In the Batman vs. Superman trailer, there is also a note that Bruce Wayne reads. It says, you let your family die. The note could have been written by Joker himself and left it on the body of Jason Todd for Batman to find. This does not mean that the Joker knows that Batman is Bruce Wayne. Not at all. It could also mean that Jason Todd really is still alive and he left the note for Bruce possibly signifying that he's gonna come back as Red Hood, which could very well be the storyline of a future Batman film, which we know is going to be happening. And last of all, it's just a bad idea. <sighs> Feels good to get that off my chest. Thanks for getting through this with me. If you have any thoughts or comments, please leave them in the comments box below. I really wanna know what other people think about this. Remember to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see you Monday.